Okay. Uh, my name is Brett Dickinson. I'm a construction technology teacher in Brownsville, Texas. been teaching about 23 years, specialized in, uh, specialized in mill and cabinet making, and uh, I had a phenomenal experience about five years ago. Uh, tell me about that. Well, five years ago, we through Carl Perkins funding, we were able to get a, a, a CNC machine, a shop bot, uh, 48 by 96, and that had always been uh, in, in Texas. We have a Texas essential knowledge and skill, and one of the requirements is is computer and numerical controlled machines. Well, I was sort of reluctant to take that jump at that time. It just seemed like a lot, of, you know, steep learning curve, but it's the absolute best decision we, we've ever made. Really? Well, um, what what uh, uh, what kind of projects are you doing that that makes it uh, worthwhile to you? Well, first of all, we're doing uh, probably a triple, quadruple of what we've done be, done before. Uh, the interest of the level of the students has been phenomenal. I, as I mentioned uh, before uh, with you, I, I have a lot of special needs students, and it's absolutely been transforming to see what what they're able to accomplish. Uh, starting with you know small projects, small plaques and things. We for the cabinets, the millwork, uh, plaques, sign making. Uh, a, a huge variety of different things, and 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 with the with the new uh, user with the users groups and some of the additions to the shop bot, we're expanding every really every every day of what we're doing. So how how specifically has this been helpful with your special needs kids? Well, my, most of my students uh, you know are probably could be described as math teacher's worst nightmare. Uh, you know, as far as accuracy. Uh, as far as you know, knowing what X, Y, and Z is, if you ever seen our shop bot wrap, one of the one of the frames in there is, is when X, Y, and Z no longer puts us into days. <laughs> and what's happened is it's phenomenal. To see, the shop bot has that little conversion chart from uh, fractions to, to metric. Yeah, just the other day, one of my one of my students is just pouring over that to make sure he was accurate. Now, you know, a student taking a, an algebra class or a geometry class. They might, they might, you know, they might get by one decimal place. They might uh, get still get a ninety plus on, on their uh, on the quiz. But if you're a decimal place off on on a CNC machine, it can have it can cost thousands of dollars worth of damage if you're going two inch deep into the table rather than point two. And that has happened by the way. <laughs> that particular student that soon learned the importance of accuracy. So it's phenomenal because they see for the first time. The power of X, Y, and Z. They see the they see the reason for geometry, a reason for algebra. Start working with different materials. We start learning and and our uh, sculpt and build process. Chemistry. There's our season reason for chemistry. Physics. The stresses and strains of you know of uh, how fast they need to be moving through different materials. You know, all of a sudden the classes they used to hate now they have an interest because they see see why it's necessary. Our industrial advisory board. I asked this question to him. Uh, uh, I said, "What is the number one skill you look for with the students coming out of high school? What is what you need?" He said, "He said CNC is the future." And then he interrupted himself and he said, "No, CNC is now. We desperately need students with CNC experience because that's the only way we can compete on a global scale. And uh, our uh, you know nationwide uh, uh, students with this type of training are finding just out the door." Uh, they're earning four dollars an hour or more than students have gone through uh, similar career and technology uh, classes uh, in construction technology, but have not had the CNC training. Wow, that's that's pretty tangible for somebody that's trying to get ready to to enter the workforce and go look for a job. I mean, that's yeah, or or entering college. It really has helped. Of course, not only has helped them with a very valuable skill, but has helped them in their understanding of math, algebra, uh, and geometry, and uh, and uh, chemistry and physics as well. So, not only uh, does it enhance uh, uh, the existing programs in con construction technology to keep up with uh, the 21st century, but uh, it also uh, provides uh, many uh, collaborative classes. I've had collaborative classes with algebra, geometry teachers, art teachers. So, so art classes can make use of the equipment. Geometry classes, algebra classes. So. So it's just not, and so you have not only a, a piece of equipment that benefits that program, but it benefits the whole the whole school because of 
what it can do.